Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build a new mini quadcopter using the XUV Y120S frame. This frame is very interesting because it has a Y shape and don't be confused it's not a tricopter because it uses two motors on its tail. In addition I'm going to use the RXSR receiver. This is the first time I'm going to use this receiver and I've heard it's very good. It's also very compact. It weighs only 1.5 grams. As for an FPV camera, I'm going to use this excellent camera from Cadix. This is the Turbo S1 camera. As for an ESC and VTX and flight controller, I'm going to use this tower also from XUV, which I've reviewed before. It has a 20 ampere 4-in-1 ESC controller, an F4 board, and a 200 milliwatt adjustable VTX. As for motors, I'm going to use these motors from Gorilla. These are 1507 3755 kV motors. I really like that they come in a pack of 5 because as you've seen in my other videos, things can go wrong and it's always good to have a spare motor. So let's start building this quadcopter. XUV Y120S is now ready. I also added this antenna from Fjord's FPV instead of the one that came with this tower. In addition, I used the Gemfan 3 inch propellers, and you can see that the quadcopter looks pretty nice and it has a very unique look. The weight of the quadcopter without any battery is 185.1 grams and I'm going to test it with 3 batteries. These are all 4S batteries. Unfortunately, I don't have any 3S battery that is going to be compatible with this quadcopter, but hopefully I'm going to get some soon. So I'm going to test with this tattoo battery. It's a 4S 850mAh LiPo battery and the weight is going to be 289 grams. With this CNHL 650mAh LiPo battery, it's going to be 273.6 grams. And with this 850mAh LiPo battery from CNHL, which is also 4S, the weight is going to be 295.9 grams. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go through the configuration of Betaflight and then take it for a test flight. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. And of course, as always, if you have any questions about the build process or any parts that I use, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and I'll see you on my next videos. Goodbye.